Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we will be looking at an introduction to supply. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the meaning of supply, the law of supply, the supply schedule, and the supply call, the factors affecting supply, the change in quantity supplies, change in supply or shift in supply call, the effects of change in price on supply, and the types of supply. And what is supply? Supply is the amount or the quantity of a commodity which the seller or producer is willing and able to offer for sale at a given price and at a particular time. Supply refers to the willingness of the seller to sell the specific amount of products within a particular time. The law of supply states that the higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied, and the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied, all other things being equal. This means that producers are willing to offer more products for sale at higher prices by increasing production as a way of increasing profits. The supply schedule. The supply schedule is a table that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity supplied. In our table given here, we can see the prices in rand, one rand, two rand, three rand, four rand, five rand, and we can see the different quantity in units supplied. Uh, every increase in price from like one round to two round, we can see an increase in quantity from five units to ten units. The supply curve. The supply curve is a graphical illustration or diagrammatic representation of commodities supplied at a given price over a period of time. The supply curve slopes upwards, showing the willingness of producers or suppliers to supply produce more goods when there is an increase in price. Now let's look at the factors affecting supply. Supply can be influenced by a number of factors that are termed as determinants of supply. Generally, the supply of a product depends on its price and cost of production. In simple terms, supply is the function of price and cost of production. Some of the factors that influence the supply of a product are described as follows. Number one, cost of production. Two, technical development. Three, the number of producers. Four, taxation and subsidy. Five, the price of other commodities. Six, the aim of the producer. Seven, the source of raw materials or new source of raw material. Eight, the price of the commodity. Nine, seasonal variations. And ten, government policies. Change in quantity supplied. This refers to any movement along the same supply curve from one point to another, either upward or downward, which is usually being determined by change in price of the commodity. Change in quantity supplied are of two forms. Number one, increase in the quantity supplied, and number two, decrease in the quantity supplied. You can see from our graphical illustration here that an increase in the price of ice cream cone from $1 to $3 resulted in a movement along the supply curve. You can see the upward movement in the supply curve from point A to point C. And this also resulted to an increase in quantity from one to five. Change in supply or shift in supply curve. A change in supply is the shift in the supply curve, either to the right or to the left which is brought about by the factors affecting supply except price of the commodity. So other factors affecting supply that is different from the price of the commodity results to a change in supply. A change in supply is in two forms. One, decrease in supply and two, increase in supply. With decrease in supply, the supply curve will shift to the left, as you can see in the graphical illustration below. And with increase in supply, the supply curve will shift to the right, as you can see in the graphical illustration above. Increase in supply is brought about by a favorable change in factors affecting supply other than or apart from price. These factors could be improvements in the level of technology etc 
effects of change in price on supply. As the law of supply states, the higher the price, the greater the quantity supplied, and the lower the price, the less will be the quantity supplied. So any change in price upward will result to an upward movement in the quantity supplied, and any change in price downward will result to a downward movement of the quantity supplied. An abnormal supply curve is also known as an exceptional supply curve. It is a negative situation in which a fall in the price of commodity leads to an expansion of its supply. These are supply curves which do not follow the rule of positive slope of supply curve from the left to the right. What are the causes of abnormal supply curve? Number one, fixed supply curve or perfectly inelastic or zero elasticity supply. Two, negative supply curve due to future expectation of change in price. Three, wages or increase in wages. Four, target income. The types of supply. Number one, we have joint supply. This is a supply of two or more products which result from the same production process or from one source in such a way that the supply of one inevitably results in the supply of the other or the supply of others. For example, we have if you have a cow, from a cow you can get hide skin for leather, you can get milk. So inevitably the supply of cows will also result in the supply of more, more leather and more milk. Two, competitive supply. The supply of commodity is said to be competitive when the commodity is capable of being put to alternative or different uses. For instance, land can be used for commercial or residential purposes. Number three, composite supply. This refers to total supply of all commodities which can be used to satisfy the same want or purpose. For example, if you're going to pay for an air conditioning unit, you also need to pay for air condition installation. In summary, supply is the amount or quantity of a commodity which the seller or producer is willing and able to offer for sale at a given price and at a particular time. The law of supply states that the higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied, and the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. The factors affecting supply are cost of production, technical development, the number of producers, taxation and subsidy, the price of other commodities, the aim of the producer, new source of raw materials, the price of the commodity, seasonal variations, and government policy. Now let's look at this assignment. Number one, state the law of supply. And number two, these five factors affecting supply.